Hey everybody, good afternoon, how's it going? Uh, quick little video here because we just got a little bit more information about the Seattle Seahawks roster and salary cap situation going into 2021. And because I'm trying to stay very close to these salary cap details and trying to pass on as much as I can, thought I'd take a quick moment to go over what we just learned about the Kerry Hyder contract. Uh, Brady Henderson on Twitter reports, and by the way, if you want Seahawks uh, content and Seahawks news on Twitter, I think Brady Henderson might be the best follow you can make. So a little plug there for him. I don't use Twitter anymore, but he's very good. So Kerry Hyder's deal with Seattle is two years and 6.5 million, the third year voids with 3.65 million guaranteed. We kind of already knew that. Signing bonus is 2.55 million, base salaries are 1.1 and 2.425. Uh, per game bonuses and a salary escalator in 2022. So that's all interesting. But the real thing I wanted to get to here is the cap number. And at the end of this tweet, Brady Henderson spells it out in no uncertain terms. The cap number for Kerry Hyder in 2021 is going to be $1.95 million, not even $2 million. So Kerry Hyder somehow, some way has a lower cap hit than Al Woods is going to have. Um, don't know how we pulled that off, but yeah, I expressed a little bit of trepidation around the Kerry Hyder signing when we first made it, when it was reported to be like three years, 17 and a half million. But yeah, the more that comes out about this deal, the more that I like it. And we obviously already knew about the third year void thing, but the fact that the cap number in 2021 is sub 2 million is pretty great. And I got to give credit where credit is due to Mr. John Schneider he is really having a nice offseason, and I know we're going to pay for it later, but it's not going to matter nearly as much later because the cap is going to go up, almost certainly. It's probably going to go way up. So with a cap hit of $1.95 million for Kerry Hyder in 2021, we can adjust the chart that I made this morning. So I went ahead and did that, where I previously had Kerry Hyder making $2.5 million, it is now just $1.95 million, and this buys us an extra $550,000 in space. And what does this mean for us? Well, $555,000 is not really going to go that far in the NFL, but in this particular situation, I think it actually really matters because the Seahawks are going to have to do some stuff in order to get under the cap like I've detailed in the past, and... As you can see now, if we bring in all these players, use all our draft picks, we give Jamal Adams an extension, restructure Wilson and restructure Jason Myers, we're now $700,000 in the black instead of just $150,000. And that's actually a pretty big change. That when you, when you look at it like that, these little margins actually really add up. So now, in order to free up the 2 to $3 million that we're actually going to need in order to um, have a season, have a, you know, season where you can actually acquire a couple players here in their midseason, then all you need to do is shave a little bit of money off down here, or maybe you still do have to do something like restructure Wagner or trade a player, but it just got a little bit easier. And I'm going to be keeping a very close ear to the ground on the details of the Dunlap and Ford deal because it's possible we'll be able to squeeze a few extra 100k there. But yeah, great work on the Kerry Hyder contract, John. That's what I'm going to say in this video. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. The salary cap situation just got a little clearer and a little better. Peace out. Go Hawks.